time starting out here using my Toll 2100 from Oser. This is the knee that I prefer to walk on and use for everyday use. It is a bomb proof knee, just really tough, has great function and works really well for me for my general everyday kind of use. For walking around, it's got three phases of adjustment for your swing phase with the X-T9 doing the same terrain. You notice that um, climbing up, I'm able to do it pretty much just as well as with the total 2100 but uh, coming down is where you'll notice I have problems so you are able to get around with the XT9 you can see with the total 2100 here there is flexion happening here and a bit of swing phase like right there it swings out um, kind of allowing me to come down the hill more easily now with the XT9 even though it's absorbing impact and it is flexing as I come down the spring is trying to push that foot forward and just through the the um, natural position of things that's trying to push the foot into the ground which can make you actually kind of trip stumble you're catching the toes essentially and falling downhill which is not a good thing so just to show you kind of how stable it is on uneven ground um, it is stable but again it's not the kind of thing you want to use for your everyday stuff you can definitely get around you can get from point A to point B if you're already out there using the XC9 if you're climbing if you're at the beach if you're um, doing something where you've got it on for that activity that it is superior for from the walking knee you can still kind of walk around and get from point A to point B but you're going to notice that a walking knee is always going to be superior for walking. Um, this video is really just to answer questions people have of whether or not, well, if I am doing this other activity, can I still get around? This is about how well you can get around on the X-T9. You can get from point A to point B. It does take a little more energy. Um, you are more likely to stumble coming downhill. You have to pay attention to that. The function's a little different. Just like any prosthetic, you need to get used to how it functions, how it walks. Um, you can see there I am stumbling a little bit, um, catching the toe, kicking rocks. There, It's just not as easy to get around when you're coming downhill. Here I'm walking kind of sideways down the hill, which is probably the way I would go anyway with my total 2100. Um, so there's always a way to adapt and get around, but you're not going to want to use this for walking around in the mall. You're not going to want to use it for you know going to work and, and at the office that kind of thing but um, you can get around on it so I think that pretty much answers most people's questions there you go um, so that's basically that in a nutshell that's walking on the X-T9 and that's about as good as it gets with the X-T9 definitely not an everyday use walking knee but definitely does have the capability of allowing you to get from point A to point B on short distances when there is a good reason to be wearing the X-T9 for another activity or a water sport and water use. So, hope that was helpful. This is Jeremy Fry with Symbiotex USA, and we'll talk to you later.